For people who don't really know you that well, how did you end up in this NBL1 competition with Hornsby? Um, so I played with Hornsby when I first started. I've been Hornsby Spider since um, under 12s and I mean I'm loyal to my club so um, it was a perfect opportunity to come back while I'm here for a brief moment. Um, unfortunately have to go back and finish school mm. um, in the US. Um, but yeah, I was here for a brief while so um, I was more than happy and they were more than happy mm. for me to hop in and help them um, for a couple of games. Yeah. So. Yeah, you've yeah, been helping out. And um, how is the college experience going? How do you find the difference between the NBL one style and, and that college setup? Um, yeah, college is very hard. It's very mentally tough, physically tough. Um, mm. Also, having to do school on top of it. Um, yeah, it's it's quite difficult, and the season is very long and. Mm. Constant travel, um, games, practice, lift, all of that. Mm. Um, but um, it's been a really good um, growth experience for me personally. I think I've learned a lot about myself and I've really grown in a lot of areas of my life, not just basketball. Mm. Um, obviously, it is really challenging being across the world away from home. Um, but yeah, as I said, I've grown a lot um, as a person and I have found it very rewarding. Um, but yes, I'm done with college for now so um just gotta get get that degree yeah yeah keep it going i mean it might be hard to focus on the degree when you're i'm tearing up on the basketball court and um personally though with your, your game is there any particular parts you're focusing on at the moment to try and improve on yeah i mean there's colleges um can be very um isolating in a sense mm. um in that you know you're doing stuff for the team and you can be boxed into a position a lot yeah, of the time of role, yeah. given um depending on the coaches obviously but i mean my personal experience i found that i've been very boxed into doing certain things and so i mean i'm just really grateful for this opportunity in nbl1 to mm. um be able to expand my game at a level that otherwise i wouldn't be able to um you know i'm really trying to work on creating my own shots and mm. finding those opportunities for myself other instead of just relying on my teammates yeah. to find it for me mm. so i mean it's a great competition to do so there's lots of great athletes um in this league so yeah, yeah i'm finding it very rewarding too yeah, it's a really testing competition out there. Of course, I mean, uh, Hornsby been pretty unlucky this year yet to get a win. Um, but just finally, what, what, what do you think this team needs to focus on to turn that corner? What, what, what do you reckon needs to turn around? Yeah, I mean, I think this is a great learning experience for a lot of the girls um, they're very young and they haven't been put in this seat in these types of situations a lot um, and we have great leaders um, on the court like Alicia Poto I mean she has crazy amounts of worldly experience um, and I think it's more just these younger girls finding their ground finding their strengths um, weaknesses and learning how to play at this high level so I think this year is definitely more of a learning experience for these younger girls as they haven't had to they've been pushed in and they haven't played at this type of level yet so I think it's a really good opportunity for them um, and obviously um, I'm trying my best to help teach as well like as well as trying to improve in my own game. Mm. Awesome. All right Christina Moore one of the stars of this NBL One East competition it's been great having you playing very talented great shooter and um, yeah look forward to watching you throughout uh, the remainder of your time in Australia. Thank you so much. Awesome. No thank you. Awesome.